Marvin Gaye was born on April 2nd, 1939. He began his journey of music in his dad's church singing church revivals. However, Marvin's career didn't kick off until the 1960s as he was discovered by Barry Gordy. This is how he managed to get his own spotlight. Listen, baby, ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide enough, baby. Marvin Gaye really had the look. He was just so passionate and had an incredible voice. Marvin Gaye was mostly known for his Motown music, like his hit singles, Ain't No Mountain High Enough, and I Heard It Through a Grapevine. These hits are definitely what got Marvin in the radar. He was a really talented guy. He did R&B, pop, but my favorite was Motown. When I think about Motown, I definitely put Marvin Gaye as my favorite. His talent and music are the best. You can really sense a change in his music since Tell Me To Roll passed. Marvin Gaye's longtime duet partner passed on the 16th of March 1970. This definitely impacted Marvin Gaye and his music. He did, however, turn a dark period in his life into inspiration as he shortly released What's Going On. His album is very relevant to this day, as war, poverty and violence still exists. This was a very popular album and was ranked the fourth greatest song of all time by Rolling Stones magazine. Marvin Gaye's producer, Barry Gordy, didn't actually like what's going on. Until he found it was a big success, he wanted Marvin to make more. Later, Marvin Gaye released Sexual Healing, which earned him two Grammy Awards and quickly became everyone's favourite. It was made very apparent to all his supporters that Marvin had a substance abuse and a wild personal life. On April 1st, 1984, whilst on drugs, the world lost a visionary. Marvin Gaye had a heated argument with his father, which reportedly quickly escalated to his father shooting him and died. Soul singer Marvin Gaye has been shot dead at his father's home in Los Angeles. From Los Angeles, Steve Futterman. According to the police report, the father took out a handgun and, and shot Marvin Gaye three times. He was pronounced dead on arrival at the hospital. Marvin Gaye was a voice against racism and multiple issues that were happening around the world. But his voice and smooth personality still remains in his music today. Oh!